Actress Fifi Dause is the gal who made the phrase, ooh la la, widely known. You would think that Fifi Dause was born in France, but no. Instead, she was born in Montreal, Canada, on April 16, 1904, as Marie Rose Angelina Yvonne Lucier. Or, more concisely, Yvonne Lucier. She eventually landed in America to pursue her acting dreams. But, believe it or not, despite her French persona she never once stepped on French soil or even European land. She was once offered a free ticket to Europe and turned it down. She loved North America that much. As a young Canadian stenographer who desired to become an actress, she moved to New York City and found work with the 1929 Greenwich Village Follies singing, Yes We Have No Bananas, in French. But how did she get the part, you might wonder? When the director asked where she was from, Lucier replied Paris, France, and falsely claimed she had worked in the Folie Bergère. The impressed director hired her immediately and billed her as Mademoiselle Fifi. After touring in vaudeville, she headed for Hollywood, adopting the new last name of Dauce, after her favorite perfume. Hollywood loved her screen test and cast her as that naughty French girl from Gay Paris, in several films. Loving the United States, she became a U.S. citizen in 1936, but her career as a reasonably successful film star came to a near halt when she walked out on her contract at Fox Studios, for which she was blacklisted. Somehow, she continued to find steady work in both film and vaudeville. Then, as age caught up with her, she drifted into television roles playing older women. Altogether, she had an impressive 46 film credits to her name. Interestingly, her career began on the Broadway stage and ended there as well. In 1971, at the age of 67, she appeared in the Broadway musical, Follies, playing Solange Lafitte, a former Follies headliner, a character reminiscent of her own career. Her song Our Parry with her sexy and strong voice helped make the cast album successful. The Follies opened in 1971 in New York's Winter Garden Theatre and ran for an impressive 522 performances. It won the New York Drama Critics Award for Best Musical and seven Tony Awards. Dowse had married twice and passed away in 1983 at 79 from cancer. It can be said, she had a remarkable, ooh-la-la, -la, life.